If you like our content, do leave your comment in the comment section, like uh, our video, and do subscribe our channel to get the latest updates. Now, in this video, we are going to use the Wii resource. Now, the Wii resource it is going to help us to get data from HTTP request, and we are going to use the data to display our content, something like this. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. So, in our code, uh, if I go to the tabs, which is the responsible where we are printing all these buttons. Now we are going to create a function in here. And before that, I need to install the view resources package because that is something which is going to help us get the data. So if I go to the documentation and there we need to look for how to install it. We have this command, npm command. So I'm going to copy that. In my code editor, I will open a new terminal and I'm going to run this command. So the package is installed here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to include it in our main.js. So we need to import it here. So I say import and we are going to call it view resource. That's it. Now we need to tell the view application that we want to use view resource. So we can I'm going to copy this. It's a view.use and there we're going to put the view resource. Now, view resource is totally uh, level for us to use. Now, if I go to the tabs here, now we need to uh, create a function which is going to be responsible for getting the data. So let's do that. Let's use that. So I'm going to say created. And in this method, I'm going to say this dot dollar HTTP dot get. And inside here, we can pass the URL that we need to get the data from. So if I go to the uh, database we are, our URL is here right here so we need to copy this in the code editor I'm going to put it here and then we're going to say users dot JSON so this way we can get the data now I want to show you one thing that we can do in view resource so if I want to use this call a uh, number of times I don't want to pass this URL each time what I can do I can use the common code like this URL till here uh, into the main configuration file I can store it there and by that what is going to happen we just need to pass the users.json if we are going to create any another table than users then we just need to call that table's name and it's going to work let me show you straight away so what I do I am going to cut this from here and then just save it now I go to index.html oh sorry main.js here now in here what I'm going to do I'm going to say view dot http dot options dot root and we are going to set the root to the length that we have and here in our tabs dot then and then I'm gonna get a response okay so the response going to be response dot json what we want is we want to uh, because we need to loop through it, so I say then, and inside it we get data. Now this data, we are going to define an empty array first of all, so I can say here, let list, make it an empty array. So whatever data comes, I'm going to put in uh, in this empty array. And here I want to say a for loop, so for let key in data and this is ES6 so now we're going to say here is list dot push and inside it we are going to say the data now we want to pass through the key so we can say key here and then comma id and that's going to be the key all right the console dot uh, log list all right so as we see we are using the life cycle method it's going to go run straight away on the page load and we can see the results so if I get to go into console and here let me refresh the page you're getting the 21 uh, records here you can see uh, we have the age name and the, all the details whatever details we need so and first of all I need to create a variable a pra which is going to be users and uh, let's set it to uh, empty array right now 
in here, what are we gonna say? We're gonna say this.users is equal to list. Now, we can use this users to loop through uh, the data. Getting this error here about the component uh, MD list item that we used in the header, you just need to go into the material website. All right, guys, if you fix the error for the MD list item, you just need to go into the material website and there uh, in the GitHub of, uh, material and just need to import this into your main file, main.js. So I added this. Previously, I was adding the component wise, only the button and the drawer. So we need to add uh, the complete material and that resolves it. So I just added the view material, then view material here. Now we don't need to use these components separately. So we need to use the cards, which is going to be from the view material. So we go into cards and here you can see the cards by view material. The code is given here. So I'm going to add the, uh, this into our project so straight away. In a code editor, I'm going to add an HR. Then after that, I'm going to create a div. The class of users underscore list. Now we have this. So what I'm going to do here is that uh, I'm going to say md-card in here. Because we have the users coming here and we're getting assigned to this. So we want all those users looping through here. So I say v4 user dash index in users and we also need the key so key going to be uh, the index all right uh, we want to put the media tab of MD card because we want to show the image of the user so let's say MD media all right this tag and we're going to get the image uh, from the directory I need to put the images there so I have the images folder here in my project folder under public assets. I want to uh, paste here all the images. So we can have all the images here now. So here, now we need to tell that where exactly images are. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, say here, I'm going to bind the source because we are going to use the view property inside. So in here I say require, right? So it's going to be require. And then we're going to say dash. And here we're going to take it to one folder outside. Now I'm going to give it uh, to the public folder where we have the images. So public, then assets, then images. And here we need the uh, image. So to do, output the name of the image, we say dollar to mustaches and inside user because we're getting user in the loop and then image. So we are getting image name from the database that's going to come here straight away. So I'm going to save this. Now we need to show the title and other things as well. So just in the, below the media, it's an MD. I'm going to put in here so that it's going to be a little good. So here I'm going to say name and it's going to be user.name. And uh, similarly, the way we are doing this, I'm going to say here age and it's going to be user age uh, slash in here okay you can see that we have images coming up straight from the database uh, and uh, the name and the age as well so let's do these uh, styling a little bit and here we're going to say MD card now I want it width to be let's say uh, 32% and also I want the margin so that they will be a little bit away from each other it's going to be 20 pixel now we have it our user list class I want it to be display to be flex and also uh, we can just say justify content and it's going to be space now we also want the flex wrap and it's going to be wrap now I want to have uh, let's see how it looks straight away refresh a little better but not there yet as well so I'm gonna say 
padding top because the content is it's just touching the top so I don't want that and I also realize I want padding bottom as well and it's going to be under pixel now here uh, I think that's it now we need the titles so s2 with the class of title what I want to do here is I'm going to say font weight is going to be 900 and uh, uh, font family it's going to be one of the family we uh, added using the Google fonts. So, and I want the color to be hash to CB57. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now, if I go and have a look, of course, we want to have these uh, all in line. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this MD card and it's going to give it all the line. And uh, it is going to it. Now we have a uh, MD card media uh, property that we can use to make images a little better. Because if you go to the browser right now, you will see that the images are coming, but uh, we have everything in line. But images are like not coming in the same size. So what I can do, I can go into the uh, MD media, and here I just provide this MD ratio, and it's going to make those images look. A better you can see here so I just want a little bit of margin here yeah that's much better now what I want to do I want to filter it according to this card we our card is here where the loop is happening and uh, we have a uh, value coming user type so user type if you see that I console to unlock the content here we have a type here so we can use this type so what I'm going to do by default I'm going to create a variable it's going to be user type and I will say it is stuff all right so I say only fetch the stuff it is just the static value so I get this property I go in here and I simply say v show and v show is looking for a condition so we say okay the condition is user dot type if is equal to uh, this property now this property is technically saying the user type is equal to uh, stuff so because we have stuff in there so I'm just going to do this and I'm going to pass the property and I'm going to say only show the stuff number so if I go there refresh and close this and we still have all the values so let me check uh, we need to put the double All right, so we have only stop showing up and only the four values. So now we know that it is comparing and showing. Now we need to update the user type each time when we click on the value. And if you remember, we are doing the click when we are clicking on this. So what we can do when we're clicking, we, we can get the name. We are already comparing here the item name with the value. So all I need to do, I need to get this property. And I'm going to say here, because we can use this in, uh, in this case, so as a this dot user type it is equal to value. So whatever username we are clicking, get the value of it, put it into the user type. So if I refresh, so we have this value. If I click professional, okay. If we clear player, doctor, the professional is not working. Let's see why not. And I put in there. Yeah, there was some spelling mistake. So if I go to the browser, refresh the page, and if you click on professional, you're getting professionals. So yeah, it's working just fine for us. And in the next video, we will work on the next section. If you like our content, do leave your comment in the comment section, like uh, our video, and do subscribe our channel to get the latest updates.